Question of the week comes from Killer1257. He asks, or he would like to know, do people who have small dicks have it easier to gain girth than people who have big dicks? And then also, what about length? Mm -hmm. Do people who have small dicks have it easier to gain length? And if you consider that a small dick has not that much volume that a big dick has. Well, I mean, uh, volume, it, it would be it would be relevant between the two only in the sense that the volume... If you start with a smaller dick, you're going to make the same gains as if you start with a bigger dick. It's all relative to what you're starting with. So if you're starting, let's say, with a 6-inch penis next to a guy that's starting with an 8-inch penis, there's not going to be any difference in how fast you gain length. It's going to be more how much time you dedicate to that and what you get out of it. But there does seem to be a correlation with length in PE, length of time in PE, meaning that men who do gain, they get to a point where they make gains, and then all of a sudden they start to level out, and they can't make gains beyond that. But a person that starts out with a smaller penis has just as good as an opportunity to get to a huge size as somebody starting with a bigger penis. It will take them more time, obviously, because they're starting with a smaller size. But there is no real advantage to starting smaller or larger. Um, it seems that there is a correlation across the boards with newbies. So people that are new, doesn't really depend on their size, they seem to gain very, very quickly um, in the beginning. And this is probably because their whole life they have never done exercise like this. So when you start doing the exercise, there's so much intensity and expansion, elongation, you make gains faster. Now. The other side of that question, is it faster for guys to make girth gains who are smaller than large guys? Not at all. Again, it's, it's relevant to um, the exercise they're doing, how much effort they're putting into it. And in the end, they're, they're, they're going to gain in the same way the other people will gain. Their gains at the end will be the length of time they're willing to put in. So again gains, for, if you're starting smaller girth and you want to get to a bigger girth and somebody starting with a bigger girth and wants to get to a bigger girth, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take you more time as a smaller person, of course, because you have less volume, but as you gain, you'll, you'll gain consistently as the other person. So there's no real, I don't think there's any real studies we have done or even had the need to do that show if smaller guys gain faster than larger guys. I think the only thing we can really say with some certainty, because I experienced this myself, is after you've gained a lot, and you, eventually you end up plateauing and coming to the point where gains don't come as they used to come. So, so basically it's kind of like when you're losing weight, they usually say that when you're approaching, let's say, your, your ideal weight, that usually the last 10 pounds takes forever to lose. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I think there's a mental piece to it that I think some guys may get in the PE and think, I want a 12-inch penis and not really understand how big that is. You get to a size in PE, and I think mentally you slow yourself down on a subconscious level because you're approaching the size that's adequate or perfect for you. Just like if you're approaching your weight that's straight for you, you're going to get to a point where your body knows this is the right weight and the right place to be, so you'll you settle into that. Um, my goals originally were outlandish. I mean, I had ridiculous goals in PE um, because I saw how quickly you could gain, so my goals became huge. But as I gained and I approached 10 inches, I was like, you know what? I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go past that um, to 11, 12, 13. I was like, wow, no way. You know, so you get to a certain point, I think your mind stops you too. It says, this is right, this is good, but you know, you still want to continue your efforts as far as keeping yourself in shape, just like if you were on a weight program, still do your PE once a week, you know, keep it, keep yourself in shape, but other than that, yeah, I think that's an important thing to mention that, you know, if you're going to set bigger goals, you need to really be able to see those bigger goals to make them happen. If they're so big and so ridiculous that they're unattainable, you're just not going to be able to make them. So I think there is a, lot, a big mental piece to it.